Nothing is a secret, it is skillful Though he mostly wants to go it alone But soon he'll find he cannot make it on his own Fighting villains till there's no one left to save Defeating evil everywhere and every day Hidden in the bookshop, there lies a door Through the fates where he joins up with the freedom through Mr. Bradburn and picks up the bomb And who's up with the first? Lava ray converter should be just up ahead. But first, I need to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I mention the swinging pendulums of doom? Great. Target acquired. Wait! It's a million degrees in here. What am I supposed to do, roast marshmallows? I mean it. Don't move. Got it. Training simulation complete. Performance analysis failure. Congratulations. Well, excuse me for trying. What were you doing? I was trying to disable the launch pad. And I would have had it if you'd just waited 30 more seconds. You were so slow. The whole point of this exercise was to teach you to be patient. I am patient! Right. Look, let's just try this again next week, okay? Besides, everyone else is already at the staff Christmas party. I just wanted to thank you all again for another wonderful year of fighting crime. Tomorrow is Christmas, so have a wonderful day off. Oh, and make sure you grab one of the complimentary Christmas turkeys on your way out. A turkey? It's a nice gesture. Worst gift ever. What am I going to do with a frozen bird? Give it to your mom. This scrawny thing? No way. She's already bought a massive turkey for our Christmas dinner. That's nice. No, because the bigger the turkey, the longer it takes to cook. Finally, let's eat. Uh-uh-uh, that turkey's not cut till everyone's here. Four hours? I'm starving. Munch on the veggie platter. Oh, no. Uncle Cliff and Aunt Linda aren't coming. All the cousins from Colorado can't make it either. Everyone except... Ah, oh, they're here! <gasps> they're here! Merry Christmas! Mom! Ryan! Uncle Ryan! Uncle Ryan! Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess, guess what? 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 We got a dog! Her name is Zipper, because she's really fast. Wait! Come back! Oh, no! Grab her, honey! Oh, dear! I should help. Ryan, watch the kids. Great. Uncle Ryan, can we play Cowgirls and Princesses? Play what? You can be the princess. Huh? What? <laughs> Uncle Ryan, where does light go when you turn it off? Uh. I'm the bravest cowgirl in town. Where do thoughts come from? <laughs> Yeehaw! Is this your watch? Can I touch it? Stop it! <laughs> Go for Ryan! Don't cook the turkey! What? Did you take a turkey? Did I take a... At the Christmas party! No! Good! We have a code red emergency. I need you in my office. Okay, but... Now! Okay, well, sorry kids. I gotta go to work. Wait, you can't just leave us. Who's going to make sure we don't do something dumb? Ah, uh, fine. You can come with me. Yay! Yay!
but you better not make anything in my car sticky. A bookshop? Boring. You know, Uncle Ryan, I always pictured you having an exciting job. You mean something like... A secret agent! Yep! Awesome! What's this button do? Don't push that! Cool! Check this out! Whoa! Ah. Whoa! Ooh, look at me! I'm controlling a car on the moon! Stop! Stop talking and stop touching things! Now just sit here, watch the Christmas parade, and don't move! Sorry I'm late, I had to- It's a dark day in freedom's history. The turkeys have been compromised. We have agents down everywhere, wounded, and without Christmas dinner. I, myself, barely made it out in time. <gasps> Sir, uh, your eyebrows. Gone. Burned. Someone used the gift of delicious holiday meats to infiltrate our agency with dangerous explosives. And they did it on Christmas. Don't worry, sir. Ryan and I won't rest or eat until we find whoever is responsible. Good, because these are our agents. This is our town. And these were my eyebrows. Uh, for the record, I didn't promise not to eat anything. In fact, want to go halvesies on a pizza? A turkey terrorist has infiltrated our agency, and all you can think about is pizza? I could also go for tacos. We could order barbecue nachos, but I'm pretty sure no one in town delivers. Would you be quiet? Someone's getting a little hangry. While you've been debating nacho flavors, I've been analyzing the contents of the exploding turkeys. And you won't believe what I found. Capsicum nitrate. One of the key ingredients found in this. Granny's hot sauce? Keep stirring. But my arms are getting tired. I said stir. You can rest in Hawaii on a vacation. It's so close I can smell the coconuts. Once we rob the biggest bank in town, we'll have plenty of moolah to do the hula. What about Ryan the Freddy? What about him? You did take care of him and all those pesky agents, didn't you? We can't have them getting in our way. I delivered the turkeys just like you said to. Believe me, he's gonna have a blast this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the Freddy didn't take a turkey? Nonsense! No one can resist a free turkey. Now, Get over here and review the plan. So the vault with all the money is all the way on the fourth floor. And it's made of solid titanium, reinforced with 50 steel rods. Which is why we're going to blow our way in. How are we going to get the fourth to the fourth floor? Ah, boys, I'd like to introduce you to... Tommy the turkey! That's a lot of turkey! And it will blend in perfectly at the parade! So we fill the balloon with the sauce. Take the balloon to the bank. Light the fuse. And... Boom! Hello! 
hello Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> <laughs> back at the 77th annual Christmas Parade Extravaganza. This year, we are really seeing some amazing new floats. Here's one of our newest participants to tell us about her float, Tommy the Turkey. Thank you, Candy. Well, my float is a 50-foot turkey packed with a special surprise. Wow, 50 feet. I gotta tell you, for a first-time participant, your float really sounds like a blast. Oh, just you wait. Quiet, you mutt! Look, it's Zipper! We gotta tell Uncle Ryan! Apparently, Granny and her boys broke out of prison two days ago. We've got to find them and figure out what they're up to! Uncle Ryan! Uncle Ryan! Uncle Ryan? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought I told you two to stay put! But Uncle Ryan! Not another word! I am trying to find a dangerous criminal, and I don't have a clue where she is. You mean the old lady at the parade? Yes, the old... Wait, what? She was just on TV. With Zipper. You've seen this woman. She's got a giant turkey with a big surprise. And she was mean to our dog. Sounds like Granny. Ryan, there are tons of people at that parade. Whatever Granny and her boys are up to, it can't be any good. I'm on it. Me too. And me. All right, I'm here. Copy that. The parade should be heading your way any minute. Uncle Ryan, can we go look for Zipper now? No. Can we get some cotton candy? No! Um... Uncle Ryan, I might have spilled some glue in your car. What? Making you this. Ryan, patience. Stay calm. It's fine. It's great. I love it. OK, now keep a lookout for Granny, but try to blend in and keep a low profile. Quiet! We don't have time to look for Zipper. I need to find Granny. Look! There she is! What? Where? It's Princess Purple! Uncle Ryan, can I get on your shoulders? No! Zipper! Uh. Nuts! Get your fresh roasted nuts! Fresh roasted nuts! Uh. Get your I am so hungry! Princess Purple! Over here! I love you! Keep it together, Ryan. Zipper! Princess Purple! That's it! I've had it with you two! Ronnie, I am done with your questions and your irritating little voice! Ryan? Ray, I specifically told you not to make my car sticky! And what do you do? You spill glue everywhere! Ryan! I am hungry and tired, and I didn't ask to spend Christmas Day with two of the most annoying kids on the face of the planet! planet. Whoa! What? Look, Ryan, I know you've had a hard day, but you can't just blow up at people, especially your family. <sighs> You're right. Hey, guys? Guys? Ronnie? Ray? They're gone! Come back, Zipper! Great. Now I've got to find a granny, a dog, and two kids. Ronnie! Ray! Ryan? Mom? Everything okay? No. Granny is here with her exploding hot sauce, and I just lost Ronnie and Ray. Oh, no. Don't worry. Ronnie! Ray! You keep a megaphone in your purse? Of course. And now, the bird you've all been waiting for. Tommy the turkey. There it is, boys. The biggest bank in town. Whoa! Steady! Hold her tight! You again! Hey, lady! Stop being mean to our dog! Yeah! That's Zipper! 
Well, it looks like two child acrobats and a dog have now entered the parade and the crowd is going wild. Ronnie! Ray! We're up here! We're coming! Light this turkey up while I deal with those pesky kids! Oh no! I dropped the rope! It appears the turkey is now doing the can-can. What a show! Help! Let go of my sister! That's right! Or you'll have me to deal with! And me! Ryan DeFratis! It's too late! In one minute, it'll go kapooing! Ryan, you've got to put that thing out! We can't let that turkey explode! Whoa! You are surprisingly strong for a grandma! I do Pilates! Hang on, sweetie! Oh no! Zipper! I got you! And your little dog, too! <laughs> No, you don't! Mom! Do you have any scissors? Of course! My purse! Great job! Now hang tight. Backup is on the way. Oh no! Here we go again! And now I believe the turkey is picking its nose. No. I think he's attempting to whip and nay-nay. Maybe this is the big surprise we've all been waiting for. Zipper! Come here, girl. Mom? That's it. You aren't going anywhere with my granddaughter or my grand dog. <laughs> okay, new plan. <clears throat> Ooh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that certainly was something. I mean, I have no idea what was going on, but what a show. Oh, I'm just so glad everyone is safe. What's the matter, sweetie? The turkey is fine. No explosions. Yeah, except for one. What do you mean? I totally blew it today. I lost my cool with Ronnie and Ray. Oh. I see. I let all these little things build up inside me until I was ready to explode. Sounds like you need to work on being patient. I tried. I waited for turkey all day. Well, patience isn't just about waiting for something you want. It's about going through hard times and hanging in there with a good attitude. Oh, that. It means you can't have a short temper and let little things set you off. Yeah. I guess it's like with the turkey float. I need to have a long fuse. <laughs> exactly. Well, I guess I should go apologize. Ronnie, Ray, I'm really sorry I blew up at you guys. That's okay, Uncle Ryan. We're sorry we didn't listen to you. What was that? My stomach. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I think our turkey should be just about done. Ryan, why don't you invite Mr. Bradburn and Pix to our house for a nice turkey dinner? Did you say turkey dinner? I guess we can share. Okay, but what are we going to do with that turkey? Ho, 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 ho. I've got an idea. Ten. Nine. Merry Christmas, Mom. Merry Christmas, Ryan. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is my sister, Kendra. 
and we're the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's episode, Ryan faces a giant exploding turkey and learns that keeping your cool isn't as easy as it sounds. Where do thoughts come from? Yeehaw! Is this your watch? Can I touch it? Stop it! Uncle Ryan, I might have spilled some glue in your car. What? Did you know that in the Bible, the word patience means having a long fuse? <laughs> no way. Like in today's episode. Exactly. Ryan was able to save the day because the exploding turkey had a long fuse, giving him plenty of time to handle the problem. Too bad Ryan didn't have a long fuse when it came to his family. Yeah. Sometimes dealing with other people can be super frustrating and requires a lot of patience. In the Bible, there was a guy named Moses who dealt with some pretty frustrating people. God told Moses to lead these people to a very special place called the Promised Land. But the journey was really long. And the people got tired and started to complain. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. You're a rotten leader. The people needed water and God had a special plan to help them. He took Moses to a big rock and told him to take his staff in his hand and speak to the rock. Hurry up already, we're thirsty. Yeah, aren't you gonna do something about it? Moses got so angry with the people that he took his staff and hit the rock. Suddenly, water gushed out. Enough water for all the people and their animals. But God was not pleased with Moses and told him that because of his anger and disobedience, he would not be allowed to go into the promised land. Wow, patience is really important to God. Yeah, it is. And God can help us to be patient with frustrating people if we just ask him. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll come back again next time on Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agents.